On July 6, 2021, an investigator posed as a 15-year-old girl on an anonymous social media platform and attracted the attention of a 29-year-old man, Ryan Burton. During the next few hours, Ryan had allegedly sent the investigator explicit photos. After the investigator admitted they were 15 years old, Ryan continued to pursue the contact. He eventually asked for a home address and agreed to meet later that day in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Instead of a 15-year-old girl, he was greeted by officers and the undercover investigator he was actually messaging with. How you doing? How you doing, man? Hi. Good, good. My name's Detective Ross, but I'm with La Crosse Police Department. Can you take your hands out of your pockets for me? Yeah. What's your What's your name, sir? Brian. Brian, okay. Any weapons with you today? No. Okay. If you just want to put your hands on top of your head, I'm just going to pat you down, make sure you got no weapons with you today. Okay. I'm here at the police department as well, sir. See our badge? Yes. Okay. Are you okay? You not hurt, Brian? I'm good. Good. Just gonna check these things for fit. What's your last name, Brian? It's Ryan with an R. Where's your oh, ID? Ryan, at? I'm sorry. In my car. Where are your keys at? I'm gonna get your ID. It's in my pocket here. Where is your ID at so I can confirm who you're talking about? It's in the middle compartment of my car. Can I go get your ID for you, yeah. please? Keys are in this pocket? Other pocket. This one right here? Yep. It's in the middle console then? Copy, I'll go back to the main channel. Yeah. All right. And I can go grab your ID? Yep. Thank you. Let's just have a seat here on the uh, step. <clears throat> 26, I have a 29 of the 95. 226, click. Last name spelling boy, union, Robert, Tom, Ocean, Nora. First name is Ryan. With the police department here, we're going to have a car come over and transport you back to the station. Uh, read you your Miranda rights, try to ask you a few questions, and um, we'll go from there, okay? This other ID, is this your relation to you? Yes. It's not stolen or anything? No. Is it your... Ryan, so you said he's Ryan? Ryan, yeah. Hey Ryan, I'm Officer Howell, Cross Police. you have anything on you that's going to stick me or poke me, anything sharp? No. Can you separate your feet, please? In his pocket. Grab his phone from there, okay, Uh, this is Dad's car. There's two IDs, one for his wife, one for him. And the uh, wallet was in the center console, which gave me permission to get. Okay. Yeah, should be. Come watch that, get in Where am I taking him? City Hall, right upstairs, if you don't mind. Yeah. You want me to walk him up there and wait with him for a while? Or I'm just talking to Polly. Oh, okay. Right All right. Um, so you guys, have, I mean, you guys saw him walk up to this door? Yeah. He told me it was locked. So was it locked? He obviously tried to get in. He has had, uh, he had his head on a swivel. Cut yeah. through the alley. It's the fastest traveler uh, investigation I've ever had. Damn. It's sad. He's married, too. Car, you told me he's married. Car seat in the back seat. Do you want uh, anything to do with the car? 
No, I called Grinky. He's like, he's separated from the car. Domino's Pizza. Do you have that on in any of the... He, he sent one picture and it was his from his neck down and okay. he was naked. Okay. Both therapists mentioned that I had nonverbal cues that I was uncomfortable when talking about what happened. After some reflection, I think this is because I've always felt like I'm a good person, I'm kind, but this has turned me into a predator, and that makes me very uncomfortable. Wow. Why don't we just take that whole thing? Okay. Have you ever been placed under arrest before? Yes. Yeah. This is the police department. This isn't the jail. Yep. <clears throat> We're gonna walk around the spot here this way. I didn't start, I don't know the case number or anything. I'll grab it. Do you? I don't, cause I don't even know it yet. <laughs> yeah. You can go ahead and sit down and relax. You need anything, water or anything? Nope. Um, you know why you're here? No. Okay. Um, well, I have an investigation that's open, um, and you're involved in it. Okay. Alright. Um, but it's a pretty serious allegation. So, Ryan, obviously you're here. Um, you were taken into custody this, uh, this evening okay, for... For a reason. I've got a, uh, an open investigation. I investigate crimes against kids. Okay. All right. Does that ring a bell? No. Okay. You still have no idea why you're here? Okay. I'm going to read you your Miranda rights, okay, because I just, I'd like to talk to you about why you're here, but obviously I can't talk to you without first protecting you. Okay. Okay. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Ryan, before we ask any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent, and anything you say will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask any questions, and to have him or her with you during questioning. If you are unable to hire, if you are unable to hire a lawyer, you can request and receive appointment of a lawyer by the proper authority without cost or charge to you to be present and advise you before and during this statement. If you decide to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you will still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. As long as you understand your rights, Ryan, I need your signature here. And if you want to, if you want to talk to me next and talk to me about why you're here, signature here. Okay. Okay. So this is just that you understand your rights. This is if you want to talk to me. If you don't want to talk to me, you just tell me now. Okay. okay. Talk? No. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a line through there, um, and I'm just going to write, didn't want to talk. Okay? Um, I'm going to be going to the county jail tonight. Alright? Um, there'll be two charges. Alright, one of them is the use of a computer to facilitate a child sex crime. Okay. And the second one is an attempted second degree sexual assault of a child. Okay. Alright? So, I'll respect your wishes, and uh, we're gonna get you out of here as soon as we can. Okay. Ryan faces felony counts of attempted second-degree sexual assault of a child and using a computer to facilitate a sex crime. All right, we're gonna go in. Go to the left, take a seat on this men's bench over here. Officers say screenshots show in less than three hours, Ryan went from sending an initial message to arriving at the doorstep. Burton is free on a signature bond that prohibits contact with his two biological children. The bond also permits that he has supervised contact with his stepchild and limits his access to the internet. He faces up to 60 years in prison if found guilty on both counts.